Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila, doing a great job on that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Did you have a good time in Canada? I did. I did too, and I know your mom enjoyed herself. She caught a lot of fish up there. The three of us went to Ontario, Canada, Tomahawk Resort, and on the way back, we stopped in Brainerd, Minnesota to see some of our friends, and then the girls wanted to go to Mall of America. Well, the Mall of America is truly amazing. If you haven't been there, you got to go. It's four stories high, over 500 stores, over 50 restaurants, a couple of hotels connected to it. It's just incredible. And, of course, Sheila and I and her mom had to eat at Bubba Gump's because that's Sheila's favorite restaurant in there, right, Sheila? It is. She loves that big salad with all them berries and all that kind of stuff in there. But the girls are going by looking at all these different shops, so we eventually went our separate ways because they're going by handbags and shoes and blouses and all that stuff. And I'm looking for something a little more my flavor. And when it comes to flavor, I run by this store, and there it is. To me, it's like heaven because it's the Pepper Palace. And they've got literally hundreds and hundreds of pepper sauces in there, hot sauces of all kinds of flavors and everything. And they got this tasting line with these little white plastic spoons that you can put a couple of drops of hot sauce and sample like I think there's like 50 or 75 or maybe a hundred different flavors and what I like about it is the employee that was working there at the time this guy's name's Justin how you doing Justin I'm gonna give you a shout out because I don't like people that sit behind the counter on their smartphone and if you ask for something they point over that direction he was over by me in 10 seconds. Hey, how you doing today? What can I help you with? And he showed me some samples and stuff. That's the kind of employee I like. I only got to the third sample and I run into this hot habanero mango and it was so tasty. Now I would have loved to stay there and go through all of those different taste tests because it's so fun to be in that store, but I had to go to Bubba Gump's at 4.30 and meet the girls. So he says, you really like that hot sauce, huh? And I said, well, not only do I like it, but I'd like to use it in a recipe because Sheila and I have Cooking with Shotgun Red on YouTube. Over 80,000 subscribers, over 275 to 280 recipes right now. And he says, well, here. And I don't want to rat on him or anything. I don't want to get him in trouble. But he gave me this little bottle of hot sauce. So I'm going to make hot habanero mango chicken wings today come on over let's get started on this and justin this goes out to you for being a great employee at the pepper palace in mall of america let's get started all right i started out with a couple of packages of chicken wings i bought whole chicken wings and cut them up myself i cut the little drumettes off of the little flat part then i even cut the little winglet off and i threw that in the kitchen in a pot and made some chicken stock out of all those little winglets and let me tell you what I did with these chicken wings. I prepped them a little bit. You don't have to do this. You can just season them and bake them. And I'm going to bake them today. I'm not going to deep fry them. But what I did is I put them in a brine for about four hours because it makes them really moist in the refrigerator. And the brine is a simple recipe. I'll put all the ingredients underneath the video. It's four cups of water, a quarter cup of sugar, and a quarter cup of salt. Dissolve all that, throw your chicken wings in, sit it in the refrigerator, Rinse them off real good after about four hours, and then pat them dry on paper towels. That's what I just did here. And then we're going to season them up. Now, depending upon how many chicken wings you got, you can always double that recipe. Make it eight cups of water, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of salt, etc. Now, what I did is I brined these, rinsed them real good to get that brine off after four hours in the fridge. And now I'm going to move them to this bowl here. All right, we got our chicken wings in this bowl here. And I got to tell you, there's a lot of recipes out there. Some use all baking powder. Some use flour and a little bit of baking powder. Now, if I was going to deep fry these, I would use flour and cornstarch to get that crispness. But I'm also going to get a crunchiness to the chicken wing because I'm going to use baking powder and flour. And I'm going to make it simple for everybody because I'm going to make all the ingredients exactly the same. In this little bowl here, we're going to put one tablespoon of kosher salt, one tablespoon of that baking powder we were talking about, one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of paprika, and one tablespoon of black pepper. Nothing could be easier to remember, even if you don't go back and check the recipe out. 
it'll be good to go. I'm just going to mix this up with my fingers, believe it or not, because I'm going to sprinkle it on with them same fingers. And there's our seasoning right there, looking good. And it's one tablespoon of everything. And don't worry about it. I will put the ingredients underneath the video. And what we're going to do here is we're going to hit this with some of this seasoning. And I'm going to get my fingers involved in this and tumble it around. Now, even though I used a tablespoon of each one of those ingredients, you might not want to use all of it. You just want enough to coat these wings really good. That looks good right there. Man, oh man. That looks good enough to eat already. Now, here's the next step. You can pop these right in the oven just the way they are, or you can take this and set it in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half to two hours, and it'll really get tacky with the skin. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put this in the refrigerator for a couple hours. We'll see you then. You know, I kind of cheated a little bit. I only had these in the refrigerator for about an hour because you know me, I'm very impatient. We're going to take our little rack out of here. And this just makes it a lot easier for cleanup. I'm going to put a couple of sheets of aluminum foil on here. I've never figured out whether you go shiny side up or shiny side down. I'm sure somebody knows somewhere. I'm going to go shiny side up. And Sheila usually helps clean up all this stuff when I'm in doing the editing after we're done shooting. So I'm doing this for her. Well, thank you. You are welcome. Because I don't want you to have to wash this pan. We're going to get this rack in here. Then, we're just going to start putting these on here. Now remember, we're going to bake these at 425 degrees for 25 minutes. Then we're going to turn them. Then we're going to bake them at the same 425 degrees on the other side for another 25 minutes. And they should be done all the way through. And what I do is I find the biggest drumette stick a little probe in there and make sure it's past 165 degrees then it's safe to eat. So let me get all of these on this little baking rack. Be right back with you. And here's the last one. And by the way, I don't know where I come up with a count of 27 because if you got a drum it and a flat part for each one, how do you come up with an uneven number? There's 26 pieces on here. But either way, I'm getting ready to pop this in the oven for about an hour, 25 minutes each side. And then what I like to do when I finish 25 minutes is turn them over, then do another 25 minutes, and then I turn off the oven and I just crack the door and let the oven cool down and kind of finish cooking them. We'll see you in about an hour with these chicken wings. Then we're going to incorporate the star of the show. See you then. All right, let's fire up our little saucepan here. Now, when it comes to chicken wing hot sauce, whether you get mild or hot depends upon how much butter is in with, you know, the old standard is you melt some butter, throw in some Frank's hot sauce, that kind of thing, and you add more butter to make it milder, less butter to make it hotter. I'm going to put in a half a stick of butter in here. Let me turn this down. I just want to get this melted real good. Because this bottle that Justin gave me is 6.5 ounces. So the combination I'm looking for to kind of be a little on the milder side, maybe three to one, like a third of a cup of butter for, you know, one cup, that kind of thing, is to satisfy Sheila Boy, I almost hate to open this little bottle. I took this little bottle of hot sauce when Justin gave it to me. I took it back over to the motel room, and I wrapped it up in some socks. <laughs> and then I wrapped it up in some more socks. Then I wrapped it up in my t-shirt. Then I wrapped it up in a, I don't know what else I had in, the, in there. But I wanted to make sure it didn't get broke before I got all the way back. And I'm going to dump in this hot sauce in here. Help cool that butter down a little bit. I want to get one more taste of this stuff straight up. 
Wow. That is really terrific. That is that taste that I got from that little white spoon at the Pepper Palace at Mall of America. If you're anywhere near Minneapolis, St. Paul, go to the Pepper Palace at Mall of America. It's on the north side. And try all their different hot sauces. And something I kind of wanted to do, I'm going to experiment here a little bit. Let me go ahead and turn this off so I can hear myself think. Because I got this melted real good. Boy, that's really good with that butter in there. Here's one other little thing I was going to try. I'm going to put one little drop of honey in there. And I'm going to stir it in. Because the mango flavor, I don't want to you know, overtake that with the honey. But I do want a kind of a sweet heat flavor. And that's the fun thing about that pepper palace. Man, you can just experiment with anything you want to do. You're the cook. They just provide all the great hot sauce. Never met any of them people. They don't sponsor my show. I don't know anything about them, but I know their sauces were terrific. I only made it through three, and I ended up with this. Boy, that's pretty good. But I like their mango straight up, so I'm not going to put honey in this. But I put in a half a stick of butter and one of their 6.5 ounce bottles of hot sauce. We got it melted. It already kind of came to a little bit of a boil, so I'm done. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to pour it in this bowl right here. And it's time to go in the kitchen and get our wings out of the oven because they've been cooling for a while. And I'm going to toss them in this bowl of this butter and pepper palace habanero mango <laughs> hot sauce. Justin, does that look good? You can just drink that the way it is. It looks so wonderful. Look what I have back from the oven. These are still a little bit warm. And I'm going to put them in my habanero. Let me rephrase that. Pepper Palace hot habanero mango hot sauce mixture with a half a stick of butter melted in with it. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you what. Next time I get anywhere near the Mall of America, I'm going to grab me a few more bottles of different stuff in there. And I'm going to make Justin charge me for it too. I don't want to go in there just to get free things. Now that we got this, let's see if I can get this hot pan out of the way a little ways. Now you could give it the old toss like they do up there at Hooters in a big tub, but I'm just going to kind of tumble them around in here with a spoon and see if I can't get this sauce all over these wings. Man, you have no idea how good that smells. What do you think, Sheila? Looks yummy. It does look yummy. Now see, Sheila doesn't like real hot stuff. And I noticed in the corner of this label it said hot. I'll bet they got a mild. I'll bet they got about everything. If you've seen some of the pictures on the screen that I popped on there, you'll see that they got literally hundreds and hundreds of different flavors, levels of heat. For you guys that want to go to the hunting camp and challenge each other to dip some stuff that's real hot, I'll bet they can take care of you too. So, I'll bet they have a lot of fun where they make all these goodies. And we're all coated up here. I toned it down a little bit with that butter just for Sheila. Now let's go ahead and plate this up. Can you still see this bowl over here? You can. Maybe I'll bring it up closer so you can see it like this. Why I'm doing this, Sheila, if you want to, in refrigerator number two in the kitchen, there is some celery on the top shelf and in refrigerator number one there's some of our homemade blue cheese dressing we're going to put in here and I'll keep doing this while you go get them. 
Look what Sheila brought me. Celery and blue cheese dressing. Thank you, Sheila. You're welcome. And I don't want to do any bragging or anything, but this blue cheese dressing with these nice chunks in here and all the other goodies is our own recipe. It's on our channel. I don't like to squeeze stuff in the bottle. Well, good news and bad news. The good news is, even if you're a Packer fan like me, they'll still let you shop in the Pepper Palace in Mall of America in Minnesota. The bad news is, my little bottle of habanero mango hot sauce is empty. So now I gotta go back and find another flavor to try. But right now, my mouth is just watering. I gotta try one of these wings. Mm. Way completely different than any standard wing sauce when you use this. Wow. Boy, that is really, really delicious. Outstanding. All right, now that Sheila took a close-up picture of this, I can mess up the blue cheese dressing a little bit. Mmm. <laughs> I got to tell you, it might be, and I know Sheila's taste, it's perfect for me. Starts out with that mango, sweet, peppery sauce flavor, delicious, and finishes with a little zing in the mouth. It's exactly what I want. But for Sheila, I might add a little more butter, I might add a little bit of honey, just to tone it down for a little bit, but I'll tell you, the way it is for me is perfect. You've got to try this, and the only way to do it is go get you one of these Pepper Palace Hot Habanero Mango Hot Sauce Bottles from Justin at the Mall of America in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and you're going to be just mouth-watering happy when it comes to the big game. No matter who you're pulling for over here, it doesn't make any difference. I'm from Minnesota, but I love the Packers, so there's an ongoing battle in my heart all the time. I wish the best for everybody, and especially a safe season. Hey, we hope you subscribe to our channel. We hope you enjoy this recipe. We kind of wanted to show you how to make the wings to complement before we even got into the sauce part of it. And I hope that turned out good for you. If you want to subscribe to our channel, a little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit when it does. Click on it when it says subscribe right next to it. You'll see a little bell. We hope you click on that because that's a notification bell. So every time we come out with a new recipe, YouTube will send you a link, let you know that it's there. Easy to make recipes over here. And is this the most delicious habanero mango chicken wing? I ain't even finished the first one yet that you ever ate? If it ain't, it ought to be. And I'll tell you right now, I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to thank Sheila. Uh, we're going to turn off all the mics and cameras, and I'm going to go in and edit, and I'm going to take a plate of these with me and some paper towels, dip a little bit of that homemade blue cheese dressing, and maybe I'll put that at the end. What do you think, Sheila? I think you should. Instead of putting up a bunch of recipes, I think I'll put our homemade blue cheese dressing over here so you can go watch that as well. And man, these are fantastic. Justin, you really treated me nice in your store. You never met me before. You didn't even know that we had a YouTube channel. But now we're just passing about 83,000 subscribers. And if you also want to check out our website, you can always go to shotgunred.com. It's getting close to Christmas, so we got Shotgun Red dolls and DVDs and all kinds of other stock and stuffers. But most of all, we hope you just tune in and check out a recipe that you enjoy. Sheila, did you have a good time? I did. I want to say. Yeah. Hi. Justin. <laughs> she wants to say hi, Justin, too. Justin, I might have to come back and get the mild for her, but she hasn't really tasted it yet with the blue cheese and everything the way it is with just a fine film on there. She might like it the way it is, too, because I'm getting her to eat hotter stuff all the time. And here's the thing. I like about all three, and they've got like 75 samples you can taste right in the store. And I liked all of them right away, and what I really liked about it is their pepper sauce is not just heat in a bottle, it's flavor in a bottle. Their hot sauce has so much flavor to it. I only got to number three, and I said, I love that. Justin handed me that little bottle. And I owe you, Justin. I'll be back. 
maybe come up with another recipe. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Say goodnight, Sheila. Goodnight, Sheila. I got to get some wings and head to the editing bay. See you later. Bye-bye. Mm, these are good.